The company is because of a man, it's because of Klaus, and he's, uh, he's an enlightened fellow. When you're around him, he, he just makes you happy, and when you hear his yodel, which is famous in the ski industry, it just sets your day. Klaus F. Obermeier was born in the small Bavarian Alpine village of Oberstoff in Germany in 1919. I was lucky enough to, to have had a fairy tale like childhood. With a background as an aeronautical engineer, he obtained a permanent U.S. visa in 1947. Klaus Obermeier landed in New York with a $10 bill, two pair of lederhosen, a pair of skis and boots. The absence of work on the East Coast and his love of skiing brought him to Aspen, where he started as a ski instructor. It was a ghost town, and, uh, and Friedel Pfeiffer had the dream of making Aspen Mountain a ski mountain. When I was three years old, I made my first pair of skis. But it was what he made from his mother's down comforter that attracted the most attention. So I cut it up and I made a, a kind of a down park out of it, which looked like Michelin Man, you know, and huge arms and horrible. You were warm going up and you could ski in it. And then eventually Gary Cooper bought it from me. From humble beginnings, Sport Obermeyer has revolutionized the ski industry. With one groundbreaking invention after another, Klaus's ingenuity can only be topped by his incredible zest for life. Step by little step, try to make skiing a little more comfortable for people. From the first down parka, if you will, or pullover, um, all the way through to the um, waterproof, breathable fabrics that have come into play within the industry, uh, the eye grow cuff, which is so important in the kids' line. And we made uh, unbreakable gla mirror glasses that reflected like 99% of the ultraviolet rays. We were the first company that had the uh, ski uh, stopper, the ski brake. Sport Obermeyer also had the first fashion ski ad placed in Ski Magazine. What's more important, fashion or function? And of course, they're one and the same. And our dealers and our consumers, they are all our friends. <laughs> when I see somebody with an Obermeyer jacket, I think I know him. <laughs> because then I talk to him going up the lift, say, yeah, how, how do you like your jacket? Klaus is also incredibly generous to his employees, from profit sharing to the powder rule. One perk was when it snowed uh, more than six inches, everybody could go skiing in the morning. Transportation for the employees to encourage carpooling. I think one sh should always try to step on the planet as lightly as that is possible. Even doing his catalogs, he tries to be uh, green and not use up as much paper. And uh, is a huge believer in the benefits of swimming. So he said, well, Wally, in a, in a year, I swim from Aspen to Denver and back. He is an inspiration because he's in a business that he absolutely loves and believes in and wants everyone to enjoy the mountains the way he does. It's interesting in life and in business how strong an aim is because you're gonna end up where you aim to, you know? He's a tough act to follow, how's that? <laughs>